Hello dear ones, welcome to Touch by the Lord, a program that will build your faith, hope and trust in the Lord. We are so grateful to the Most High God for life. What have you told the Lord today? Because he holds the key to your life. Many people didn't make it through the night. If you are watching us, it means God sustained you. What testimony do you have? to share, to encourage someone. Please take our numbers on the screen. Call us so that someone will be blessed. Our quote for today says, no matter how negative your situation is, once you don't lose your connection with God, he will turn your situation around. No matter what you go through, don't lose your connection with the Most High God, so that your situation will be turned around. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, TBL TV. Like, comment, and share. You will never be the same. Use your data profitably. Have time to watch things that will lift your spirit up, and you will grow in the Lord. Today, I'm so blessed to have one of my spiritual fathers in our studios to share his life journey with us. Sit, don't go anywhere, you'll be blessed. His name is Apostle Isaac Kwajo Adeti. Bernie. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Auntie Susie. God bless you so God much. God bless you too. For coming to be a blessing to all of us. Thank you. I've known you for many years. So many years. Because yeah. of um, ministry, you, yeah. you, you and my dad were ordained the same day. Yeah. In fact, you came to ministry the same time. Yeah. But you were young. Very young. Yes. And you were body bodies. <laughs> so all of you are old now. Yeah, today, and we have yeah. also grown. We are boogie boogies. <laughs> and we thank God for your yeah. life. And Daddy, before we move on, please, I would love that you share your childhood with all of us. Yeah. Before we go on, I want okay. to first of all thank the heavens, thank the Lord. Amen. Thank Reverend Mrs. Susanna Abose. Okay. <laughs> and then Reverend Abose. Thank you, Daddy. And the wonderful men behind the cameras. Yes, powerful men. Yeah. Uh, thank the good Lord for your lives. Amen. And I'm grateful to have this opportunity to sit in this seat which great, mighty, and wonderful men of God have sat in. Amen, like yourself. It's a wonderful opportunity yeah. for me. Amen. Susie, once again, I salute you. Thank you, Daddy. My name is Isaac Kojo Adeti. Kojo? Adeti. Adeti. Yeah. I was born... 69 years ago wow in tamale in tamale tamale wow. in the northern regional capital of ghana house number i78 <laughs> Mosizongo. my oh, mother Daddy. now gone to be with the lord mm. was esther adedekuo adeti wow my father whom I did not know and meet wow. was Kwesi Boateng. Kwesi from, Boateng? Yes. You've gotten something today yeah. from Asante Mampo. I never knew, I never saw. Wow. So I grew up in Tamale, stayed with my grandma, who went to be with the Lord some 49 years ago. Mm. I attended two primary schools. One called Zubili in Tabale. And the other one was the Sakasaka Experimental Primary School. From there, I went to Kalpohini Middle School, Form 1. And then, my uncle whom I had switched to stay with by name Kofi Abednego, was working with the Minister of Health, had decided to relocate 
from Tamale to his cocoa farm in Sehwe Agnyaso Bebiani constituency now in a village called Kroboano. <laughs> so, in Form 1, I had to leave Tamale, Kalpohi, and move on to the village. And the nearest middle school was in a town called Sefi Wenchi, which was 12 miles away from the village. And so every Monday to Friday, I did 24 miles on my foot. Wow. Went to school, close, come back to the village. Eey. At a point, it looked like I was going to have the opportunity to go to secondary school. I sat for the common entrance, but there was no money. I continued my education, but I never stayed in Form 2. Form 1, I was jumped to Form 3. Wow. So I, st I tried common entrance again, I passed, but still. Ironically, there was one school I loved so much because of the name. I don't know why. Opoku was a secondary school. Uh, you loved it. Owas. <laughs> so all the first two exams I took, I chose the place. And all of them, at a point, the headmaster even called my uncle wow. and asked him, why is your word not coming? Wow. And he said, no money. So I finished middle school and got my MSLC, Middle School Living Certificate, 1969. Then, stayed home to do some farming for one year then off to Accra to attend technical school. Mm. Bachi school in Mamobi. The first year, I didn't like the way the training was going because I was living in the house of somebody who was working with PNT. Mm. And he was giving me some guidelines. And when I looked at it and what the teachers were what teaching, teaching you? I realized that I was lagging behind. So I switched from Bachisco to Nateko in Odoko. All that time I was living in a silent dam. And so sometimes I'll have to walk from a silent dam to Odoko. Hey, to school? To school and back daily. Were, and you, were you living with a relative? Initially, I was living with my mother and my stepdad. Then they were transferred to Kufuria. Mm. And uh, I went with them to Kufuria, but the school they got for me was Kateko. I didn't like the life in the school because the first day I went to school, I realized some people were smoking Indian him. <laughs> you didn't like? Drinking alcohol in the classroom. Hey. And... By that time, even in technical school, I was already a deacon in, in, in the Church of Pentecost. In technical school? Yeah, technical school wow. from two. At a young age, you? I was a deacon, 1920, 21. I was a deacon. So I didn't like it. So I had to come back to Accra to stay with my stepfather's nephew wow. and my aunties to continue schooling at Nateko. 1994 completed went back to the village to farm. Why did you go back to the village? Correct. Initially, I thought I would get some work to do, so I wrote, the first time I wrote applications, I wrote 25 applications. <laughs> National Cash Registry, Ghana Fisheries, Namankwazi, Broadcasting Corporation, all the companies who had something to do with radio, and television, because that was the course you did. I did. But no reply was coming, so I decided, let, let me go to the village. You'll find where? Find something doing. But all the applications I wrote, I used the village address. Church of Pentecost. In the village. Sefi Wenchi Box, 89 by BNE. <laughs> oh, that, you remember everything. Everything. <laughs> so, I was there for almost a year. The jobs were not coming. 
So at a point, I started having dreams that I wanted to go to the military, specifically the Air Force. Mm. And then that one too was not coming. So I decided, okay, why not farm with my uncle? Mm. Maybe he will give me a portion of his land. I will farm on it and become a cuckoo farmer. When I'm able to make small money, I will do distance education. Yeah. Then maybe in future I go to a training college, yeah. get some certificate and get myself back into military. Yeah. But that one didn't work because um, my uncle's intentions were known to me one day that I was not part of his inheritance. Wow. He had a wife and children. And so Kojo had to find a way. He had to come to Accra to Hosel. So, Daddy, let me ask you this. In all this, you were still a Christian. Christian. Deacon. So, at what age did you meet the Lord? Hmm. Assemble, Daddy. <laughs> all along, I've been a Christian. Mm. In fact, my grandmother was a first generational Church of Pentecost Deaconess wow. in Tamale. Wow. And she brought me up. I didn't yeah. live. My grandmother took me when I was very young. Mm. So I grew up virtually in the Church of Pentecost with Apostle C. E. Apewasanti. He was the first pastor I got to know. I used to carry fried fish and fresh fish to his house in Tamale. Then after him, Apostle Patrick Asiama. So in all that, you were still a young person? Uh, no, Appel, I was a young person. Then an Inkra, by the time an Inkra came to Tamale, I had now relocated to Babieni, the farming okay. village. Okay. Whilst I was in Form 3, one day, my district pastor, Pastor Opokwe Dipa, mm -hmm. he came to Weji to preach. Mm -hmm. But when he was not coming to preach, I was a preacher. So you had accepted Jesus already, or you were just preaching? I was just preaching. Wow. I was just preaching. Wow. So that Sunday when he finished preaching, he made the altar call, and I got up. I and the preacher there. got up. And the whole assembly was, is it a hall? Could you, is it a hall? Is it a hall? What is wrong with you? They were speaking in what language? second language. Uh. What is wrong with you? I said, I have been preaching always. Yes. But I have not accepted Jesus Christ. Wow. I was born into the church. I've gone through children's movement. I've gone through witness yeah. movement. But I've not been baptized. Wow. I've not accepted. I've not done it before. Wow. So Opoku Adipa led me through. I lifted my hands. Accepted Jesus Christ. I was then 19 plus. Wow. It was in August. So 19 my birthday is June, so 19 plus, mm. some three months. So does it mean that because you went to Sunday school and witness, you didn't go to the world at all? You didn't? I didn't have anything to do with the world. Smoke, drink, high life. Women. No, 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 no. Wow. I didn't, I don't, I don't, I won't say it's a luxury. So at what point did you get yourself into Accra for the ministry um, in okay. Greece? Yeah. Like I said, when I finished school and I went there, the mm. farmer conspiracy didn't work. Mm. I now came back and was looking for work. Mm. And all those time I used to walk from Tem Accra, Asalon down to Tema. You walk? Yeah, to look for work. I know money. Oh. What, 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 what? I, I, I salam down to Tema. Yes, our house was near Uhuru Dance Band residence. So how do you walk? I salam down to Tema. I joined the main uh, cathedral road. Wow. Cross into ministries. Join Osu. Hey. La. Do, towards Tessi, the beach. Nungwa. Then I branch. Those times, that road was very bad, but you see me walking by it as if I'm just going to the next village. <laughs> Before you know, I'm in Tema Harbor, moving from 
the shipping companies. Then one day, Fortune smiled, smiled on me. Somebody gave me a link and I entered Mankwazi Fisheries, one of their fishing vessels. Very big one, very big one. Mm. In fact, my first day, I entered a ship and on the sea. And I presented my application letter again. The guy looked at me, he said, radio and TV. So he took me into a big room that was under yeah. the ship. And the gadgets were there. Then he asked me this, and I said, yes, this, this, I said, yes, this, the microphone, yes. Then he started to pinch his hand on the thing, and the thing was quick, 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 quick. He said, what is that? I said, I know it is Morse code, but I can't translate it. He said, and that is the people we need here. Wow. We all were only taught that there was something like Morse code. Yeah. You didn't know what it was. And that's how you were employed. I didn't, they didn't employ me. So I even went to the manager and said, why not take me on as a technical trainee? Train me. When I'm okay, you put me on salary. He said no. He said no. So I came back home. Then my auntie was working with Poly Products. So she said, ah, Kojo, you've tried all these companies, it's not working. Why not let me take you to my factory? Mm. She was working up. Mm. I said, okay, we went there. The manager told me to write an application. I just went out there, looked for a paper, envelope, wrote everything. You your handwriting. I oh, come on, my handwriting, signed it, put it in the envelope, went it, sent it back to him. He said, yes, no, I said, yes. He said, well, I said, everything is inside my head. <laughs> so he looked at it. He said, can you come in the night? I said, what time? He said, nine to six. I said, why not? And that is how you were employed. So that's how I was employed as a, a machine minder. Daddy, let me ask this. All this while you were looking for a job, you were walking long distances. But you were still active in church. I was still were you, a, were you discouraged at a point? At all, at all, at all. That wow. time we were worshipping at Adabraka Assembly. Our chapel was in a school by the Faris, opposite the Farisco traffic mm. line. There's a school there, a government school. That's where we used to. You were not discouraged. At all. When did I'm, he ask God, why did, am I not getting job? No, I wasn't discouraged with God. Because one thing I knew in mm. the Bible was that God loves me. Mm. So it isn't me not getting job which would mm. make me know that God doesn't lie. I knew God loved me. And wow. I knew that my day will come. come. Good, Daddy. Someone is watching us. Yes. They are serving God so well. Mm -hmm. Things are very difficult for them. They don't know which way to go. How can somebody walk from Asalam down to Tema? Mm. But you were doing it and still active in church. Someone like that watching us, please look into the camera mm. and, and encourage somebody. Oh, yeah, like that. Wo 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 my dear friend, my dear brother, my mm. dear sister, mm. my son, my daughter, if you are looking at me now and you are jobless and a Christian mm. and you think that because God is not giving you opportunity to work and make a living and so God is bad, I want to tell you God is good. Look, all this time I was doing that, when I was leading chorus in Adabraka, mm. because of the way I was clapping my hands, yes. people, because of all my clap came to accept Jesus Christ. Wow. The clapping of my hands alone. With the zeal. The zeal. The, because we had a style that Tamale people used to, you uh, know. Yeah, we used so to, you were using that. I thing. was using that tactics. So the people will be walking by the roadside and they'll be hearing the thing, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> So they will come and see, young man. I had two white shirts, one black trouser, one brown trouser. 
and some old Achimota Sanders. <laughs> and I was clapping and leading chorus in church. Wow. And so they will enter and sit there. And when the time comes, they will come and accept Jesus. Then they will become friends to me. Wow. Then they will ask me, how do you clap your hands? <laughs> so I will teach them how to clap it. So that was also. So my brother, my sister, my daughter, my son, don't despair. Amen. God is God. Your situation can never change God's situation. Mm. He is God and you are his. Mm. And at the right time, mm. he will do it for you. At the right time, God will do it for you. Don't despair. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You have been listening to the testimony of Apostle Adati. What do you have to share to bless someone out there? Please take our numbers on the screen. Call us. I will give you that opportunity to be a blessing to someone. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, TBL TV. Like, comment, and share. You will never be the same. Please like our Facebook and Instagram pages, TBL TV. Unyamin show se eyawa de bia unyamre na ushayen. You will be a blessing. Daddy, you know that all that you have shared surprises me because somebody doesn't have work and can still praise God and even his hand clap will bring a lot of people to Christ. God's word is true. Because you gave your all, you were not even disturbed. And you got that job from your auntie. Let's pick it from there. Whilst I was working in Poly Products, mm. the Air Force thing came again. Mm -hmm. I discarded it. Why then, did you discard it? Because I was having dreams about me standing on a soapbox mm. and preaching to a crowd of people. Mm -hmm. So I started asking people questions. Mm. Some of them were saying, oh, you are going to be a politician. Mm. You are going to be a politician. Because whilst I was young in Tamale, one of my nicknames was Kojo CPP. <laughs> what? Why that? I was a number one politician, a fan <laughs> of Kwame Nkrumah. Wow. Yeah. And you are very intelligent too. And you can, <laughs> you are smoking. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I said, ah, oh, politics. I said, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> then one day, first I was contemplating about the politics thing. Because in poly products, I started work in three months, I became a departmental head. Hey. In six months, I was sessional head. Hey, wow. One year, I was supervisor. Hey. Two months after the one year, I became the uh, local union chairman. Yeah. Just one year, two one months. One year, two months, my auntie, who was working there, was not taking instruction from me, even in the factory. Wow. I was her supervisor. And wow. as the U U workers' union, I was the chairman. Wow. So the politics thing started to sweep my head. <laughs> because of the union chairman? Yeah. Yes. Then, oh, I'm, there are people who are doing politics today who are met TUC was who are having meetings. Wow. A lot of them. They are now big, big, big politicians. Mm. And you also you were also a big man of God. I'm a big man of God by his grace. Yeah. Then one day, whilst I was thinking about the politics. Politics. Something told me. You are not going to be a politician. You are going to be a preacher. Preacher. I said, already I'm preaching. Yeah. Because whilst a deacon, the preacher's plan, I remember, sent me to Collegono on one occasion. Wow. I went to preach. Wow. And after I'd finished preaching and we were praying, there was a prophecy. My son, my son, 
Why are you running away? I am calling you. you don't want to come. <laughs> That's time, friend to God. I asked the presiding elder, do you know that girl? He said, no, we don't know her. So when we closed, they called her. She said she was from Shanti Jabing. She so didn't know you. One village. She just yeah. came to Kolebu. Wow. The mother was sick. She was there. So Sunday she looked for church. And she came there. And she came there. So she didn't know anybody. And incidentally, Ike was sent to preach. Wow. And the prophecy came. And then the presiding elder said, ah, me have been here a long time. Nobody has preached about ministry. So you see, I said, my friend, forget about that. <laughs> and I left, sent me to Pokwasi, to Amasama. To, to go and preach. Kushibiadi, to wow. Oduntia, all. It's now part of Achimota or Amasama districts. Were you walking to those places? Those places, <laughs> I used to get some transport. Yeah. But I remember on one occasion, I had five CDs in my packet. And I took transport of about 50 or so cities. So when we went that day, we were taking an offering. And I had folded the remaining four cities. I wanted to take one CD for the correction. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I took it, I took all the four and put it in the correction <laughs> book. So we closed. We went to the presiding elder's house. He gave me a bottle of Coke and some small biscuit. <laughs> we prayed for them. Then I set off. Then when I was almost getting to the roadside, something told me, check your money. <laughs> so I put my hand there, and it was left with two pence. <laughs> so I said, ah. <laughs> Sir. The money I put in there is all the money I had in my pocket. <laughs> so I set off, oh, <laughs> oh, yami, yeah. oh, yami, yeah, yami, yeah, mami. Oh, when I got out, you were... out of town, I just opened my front button. Shirt was open. You oh, walked. Yami, yeah. You were singing. Oh, yami, wow. Yeah. Oh, Nyami, yeah, Nyami, yeah. <laughs> Nyami, yeah, took you home. I got to Achimota. God is good, oh. God is good. Mm. Then I met one Achimota member, Sister Adachi. Mm. She's from Peki. Adachi met Adachi. Adachi, yeah. We know ourselves because yeah. we're in the same district. Yeah. She said, hey, Osafo I mm. was then a deacon. Yeah. But most of them used to call me Osafo yeah. Oh, Kwake. So, I'm from Hokwase. I want to preach at Hokwase. Mm. And I'm going back home. Mm. He said, oh, so. Okay, okay. She opened her back. Wow. Gave me money. Mm. So I said, no more walking. Oh, yeah, me, I'm Yeah, so I stopped there. I took a, a, a car to circle. Mm. Then... Your home. Walked through Apollo Theater, crossed the bridge over to Asalon Down, and went home. Wow. And I still had three CDs, 40 pesos left. Wow, from, from the, the money. House. So I didn't lose after all. Yeah. But the offering to, they got their target home. <laughs> because of your four CDs. Yeah, because of my four CDs. Wow. So that is how ministry came, courtesy the good Lord and Pastor Robert Sapon, mm, you know him? Mm, Pastor Sapon, yeah. He called me one day, he said, Kojo, you are doing very, very well. Mm. I've heard you preach in church. I've heard you preach in a, uh, out in crusade. Yeah, rallies. I've heard you interpret Pastor James Macion. When you were a deacon? Yes. His local church was at Abraka. He would come there and sit down, no. and then when it was time to preach, they would say, Kojo, come on. So he would preach English. And you translate. Wow. Sometimes Pastor Vandapa would speak Ga. And you would do the English? No. The chi. He would do English, Pastor Vandapa, Ga, I would do the Chi. Wow. So, ministry. I said, mm, Papa, I'm not married, though. He said, Yeah, but you can go and get married. 
So gradually, gradually, gradually. Wow. Then they made me an elder. Wow. Five months after they made me an elder, I was called to attend ministerial interview. Wow. That's where I met your father. Wow. And we became very, the very first yeah, day we met, you guys were very close. We greeted, and then we sat by his side, and that was all. Wow. We became very good friends. Yeah. Very, very good friends. Powerful friends. Yes. So, ministry came, we went to Kofodia And together. you were doing so well in yeah. ministry. Went to Kofodia. The interpretation. We were doing very, very well. What gave you that motivation? It's God. Because one, you didn't want to. Become a pastor. Yes. Later you accepted it. And you were so vibrant. Because what gave you that? The lady's prophecy mm -hmm. coupled with sister that you what she said was mm. Because it hit me mm. like a boomerang. <laughs> when she saw me, I said, mm. It hit me like I said, ah. she, she knows I'm a dick. She, she called me or mm. So but that is why fruits. when Sapon called me, I said, I'm not married. He said, Why are you married? So I married in May, and then in September I went for an interview. Wow. And then by December I went for an interview, and that is how you ministry came in. Fast forward. Yeah. We went, did everything. My name came in the white paper. Mm. No station. No station. Mm. I had been called into ministry. No station. No station. Why? So they were calling me auxiliary pastor. Oh, wow. OK. So what were, what were your duties? No, I had not even got it. I was then, we have not even been sent off. Mm. So I, we were still doing our work because we knew that transfers would come in August. Mm. Yeah, well, one day, Apostle Hanan called us for a meeting. That was in May. Mm. And in the meeting, once we were just finishing, your dad was there. He said, hey, Kojo, Monday you are going to Bible school. Wow. I said, Papa, after I resigned, he said, I choose between resigning and ministry. Wow, just like that? Yes. So I said, OK. So I got home, told my wife that Monday I'm going to Bible school. He said, ah, but you've not resigned. I said, I will resign. He said, well, I said, I'm going to write it now. Wow. That was a Thursday. So I wrote the letter on Thursday night, enveloped it, sent it to my director, Polly Prudos. Are you Mohinani? Wow. He took the letter, read it, and said, he used to call me Kujo. Mm. Mr. Kujo, what is wrong with you? Mm. I said, nothing. I'm fine. He said, you've worked for almost 10 years. And you want to forfeit all that now. Benefits. I said, God's call. Mm. He said, OK, I want to help you. Take your letter back. Backdate your resurrection date. Mm. Eh? Mm. Because the rule is that you must give them six so, months yeah. notice. So you can date it February or wow. January. I, I don't mind. Wow. Then I can present it, put it on the file, and pay you your benefits. Your benefits. And at wow. that time, my benefits for the 10 years could buy me two Suzuki taxis. Wow. Two. Hey. But I told him, I'm going to do God's work. I come back late. How can I begin to tell lies from here? Wow. So he said, OK. So I left Polly, went to school. Then my station came. Daddy, I was going to It's Avena. good. Before we continue. Yeah. Now things are very different from before. Before. Someone yeah. is watching us. Mm -hmm. They are contemplating about so many things that they have to do negative for them to forge ahead in life. Like, yeah. you were just, I was thinking you did it and you got it. Because you were just supposed to backdate it. Yeah. To get the benefit. To me, I would say, oh, it's fine. But, you know, because of your faith in the Lord, you the didn't Lord. do it. And yeah. you forfeited all of and it. And the teachings I had gone through. Yes. Someone is watching us. The ethics that I've gone through. Yes. Someone is watching us. They are also contemplating. 
they are young. What will you look into the camera and tell them something? Let me warn everybody. There is a short adage in G I like. Quintia Yemusu. Quintia Yemusu, what does that mean? Shortcuts in oh, okay. are dangerous. Shortcuts are dangerous. Child of God. Mm. Child of God. Daughter of God. Mm. Son of God. Mm. Please. It isn't all that glitters mm. which is gold. God's time is always the best. Mm. Do what God's wish for you is mm. and he will do what is good for you. Amen. I used to say that if even he doesn't answer me now, mm. I'll go to heaven. Wow. When I get to heaven, I will take all my back page off. <laughs> oh, not be so now. <laughs> eh? No, so that it not means so. that you were strong. I, I will take, I will tell him, God, I asked for this, it didn't come, bring it. Wow. This one didn't come, bring it. Wow. So my brother and my sister, Jagwagbana, you then go better, go go better. Just go slow. Wow. Go slow. Mm -hmm. In Gambia, they will say danka danka. Go danka danka. In Yoruba, they will say dear dear. Go dear dear. God's time is it's the, the best. best. God's time is really the best. So don't run ahead of God. Daddy, back to um, ministry. Before we, we end our session. Ministry. You went, you were a missionary. You went to so many <laughs> countries. Yes. Came to Aveime, mm. Nungwa, mm. Newtown. Mm. Then we went to Nigeria. Wow. That's what? how you, you were able to speak the language. Nigerian language. Mm. I hear Yoruba here and there. I can. But a few Yoruba. I understand small Igbo. The Igbo songs I can sing. But for Hausa, I could speak Hausa because I was born in Tamale. I speak Hausa, Dagomba. I understand all of it very well. Wow. Years back, I could read. Hausa, I could read Dagomba. Wow. Yeah. Nobody so taught me Ga. Nobody taught me Dangbe. You are very good with language. Nobody taught me Chi. Wow. Nobody taught me Ever. The only language somebody taught me was English. A teacher. English. Apart from that, all the languages I speak, nobody taught me. I speak Sefi. And I spoke small wasa. It's all by the grace it's of God. Grace. I used to say that it is by the grace of God. Yeah. And usually when somebody is going to preach and they call me to interpret him, maybe they'll tell you a few minutes before. I just bow down my head and say, Lord, let my spirit and this man's spirit Link up. Mm. So sometimes, before he finishes saying some of the things, it has already registered. Wow. So you said, Lord, let my spirit connect with them. Connect. Wow. So when you speak, I'm learning I'm, a lot. I'm just following him. Let me tell you a short one. Kumasi in 1986, 87, yes. Pastor Kerry was preaching. Mm. It was a women's convention. Pastor Kerry was preaching. And I was then a probationary overseer. We were sitting at the back there. Yeah. Then somebody came and touched me. Uh, is, are you Isaac at the team? He said, yes. He said, they want you at the back of the platform. Wow. Just like that? Yeah, so I went there. He said, Kerry is preaching. He said, you would. He called you. In fact, he called my name. He said, if the tea is around. So I said, okay. So stood there. I interpreted him in three. Wow. Adeti, interpreting to in, Akans in, in Kumase. In three. In three. When we finished, he finished preaching and I was getting now. 
Somebody just helped me from the last step of the, uh, the steps. steps, carried me down, held my hand, back of the platform, put his hands in his pocket. Everything in his pocket he pushed into my coat. Wow. wow. And so it comes naturally. If yeah. I am only going to do it, I ask the Lord to open the Let way. Let your spirit connect with them. And then when it connects, we are good to go. Wow. We are good to go. Wow. We are good to go. Wow. So and Nigeria. Then, yes. Then I came to Aplau. Mm. Then I went to Gambia. Wow. Nigeria seven years, Gambia five years. So in all this, with the zeal and all that, you didn't care about what you were not getting or what you were getting. Like, you know, now ministry is very different for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They will go in with the intention of what they would get. But your time, I know because of my dad, um, you, you do everything with a lot of zeal. What made you to trust God to that level? I was looking at the Jessica. Some of them may understand. What is this? I was looking at the price. Wow. The price that Jesus Christ has promised us mm. in his word. Wow. At that young you age. Know, you know, Peter asked Jesus, mm. we have left land. Yeah. Everything. Wife. To mother. To follow you. To follow. What will we get? Yeah. Jesus said, you get all those ones here. Mm. Right. So that's why I told you that if there was anything I wasn't getting now because it wasn't coming, I knew one day mm. I'll get it. Mm. So I wasn't so enthused about this mm. or that mm. or that or that. No, if I got it, fine. If I didn't get it, once I had what I have to be able to do my work. Mm. Mm. Look, in Aveima, I used to walk from Aveima to Akuse. I don't know the distance. You don't know? Is it like um, Asalam down to Tema? Oh, that's chicken too. So God was preparing you. Uh, um, that's why I told you. Yeah. By walking all those distances, <laughs> I walked from. Look, there was a village in. Over bank of the Akuse Dam mm. called Fojoku. Fojoku? Yeah. From Akuse to Fojoku is 12 kilometers. Hey, you walk? I walk from Aveima to Akuse, cross the river, do the 12. So you know when I leave Aveima, 6 a.m. Hey, that's for ministry. 6 a.m. And you'll be dancing. I, oh, you'll be I, have, singing. I have a small bag. I strap my shirt, trouser, shoe. Inside. Side is behind me. When I'm in the town, I put on my shirt. When you are asking. I, I strap the bag at my back. When I get out of town, I open this one. Wow. And you'll be singing, oh? Singing. Hello, Yehovah, hello, Muto. And. I was covering all those distances. Mm. When I got to Aveima, uh, Aveima was almost like dead because the pastor had been sick mm. for three, four years. Mm. So some assemblies, you go there and you meet only two old ladies. Two old ladies? Yes. Mm. At a point, my wife was playing, I was playing conca and being <laughs> chorus lady. <laughs> your pastor? Yeah, me. And your wife will be playing the two, two, two. And I will be playing the conca and doing chorus later. I finish and preach. Then we finish, I will do house to house evangelism. Yes. When I finish, before I will go back to my Aveima. I remember one thing about my dad. When we go to uh, Pram, 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 Pram. He, we will go early. He will, sometimes I go with him. Yes. Then he will go to house to house. Correct. For them to know, hey, pastor, pastor. If you don't go, they won't come. Yes, they won't come to church. They won't come. Wow. Mm -hmm. And his mommy will be playing the dundu. I tell you, she even adopted one assembly where she pays her tax. <laughs> God is good. Mm -hmm. So in all this, 
What will you tell somebody who has been sitting down listening to this wonderful life? You have to address people working in the secular um, area and then ministry. Because you have a lot of experience in life. What are you going to tell them? Let me first of all thank God for the lives of all people. Let me go to my primary constituency in the ministry. Mm. I know that ministry these days has become like Kajomeka a Galamse field. But mm. it is not all Galamse. Mm. God's call mm. is specific. Yeah. Appropriate <clears throat> and accurate. Specific, appropriate. God accurate. calls us to affect mm. the lives of people. Mm. So I used to pray God, make me a factitious Christian. Ah. Let me affect the people mm. I meet everywhere I go. Let me affect them. Even Oluan Kakra Amaye, and sometimes leaping on my right leg because of the little, little knocks I have had on my body. Mm. Every night when I pray, I say, Oh, Lord God, make me affect the lives of people I meet positively. Mm. And especially I pray for ministers because I have gone through mm. a lot of it. Yeah. I pray that they shouldn't look at the gritling world mm. and think that that is it. Yes, true. I know one thing. In the daytime, the sun shines. In the evening, the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. Then the darkness comes. And before brightness comes again, there is a certain thickness. Mm. The darkness, which you couldn't imagine. If it gets to there, please trust God. Hope in Him. Give the totality of your ministry work to do the things that will glorify God. Because by the end of the day, you will be accountable to it. For those who are in secular employment, mm. we know that the world now is economic forest. Yeah. Everybody is grappling. <laughs> but if you grab a, uh, take time off mm. to look for Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. Because mm. the Bible says, what will it profit a man? If he gains the whole world. If he gains the whole world. The whole world do. The whole world loses his soul. Mm -hmm. The story about the rich man mm -hmm. and Lazarus. And Lazarus. Well, usually when I read it, I cry. So when I go to preach about it, I hold two handkerchiefs. Wow. Hmm. Because when a rich man gets to a situation where he says the poor beggar mm. should dip his hands inside water. Poor beggar who into water and put it on his tongue. Then a cacao. Then it's not easy. Mm. So brothers and sisters, mm. work fine, money fine, but have time for God. Because in all this, Jesus Christ is still Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In all this, Jesus Christ is still Lord. In all that apostle has shared it goes with this Bible scripture I'm coming to read. First okay. Timothy 6, 12. Correct. He says, fight the good fight of faith. Exactly. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you, you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You held on to the faith and you moved on. Yeah. 
if you are watching us and you are listening to us, First Timothy says, fight the good fight of faith. Because our Christian work is not an easy journey. At all. Over. If you don't hold on to your faith, you will give up so quickly. Quick, quick, and quick, I quick. love it when you said, when you don't have money and you are walking from As Asalam down to Tema, you are, you are singing yeah, so and walking. So the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my, is my strength. So the joy of God gave you so much strength. Let the joy of the Lord give you strength in your life journey and at the end of it like the quote said today your situation will turn around hallelujah daddy god bless you so much thank you for blessing our lives i have been blessed and i've been encouraged thank you so so much this is a wonderful opportunity well, it, it, it's, it's one it's of the amazing. lifetime opportunities it's amazing We'll, we'll, we'll talk again Thank concerning you. the miracles God gave you. I will, I will be expecting it. To, Amen. I will start praying this Amen. evening. Amen. That Amen. God a, should a do that. Yes. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. 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 Yes, a lot. Uh, Viewers, yes. I have been so encouraged. I know you have been too. Please, take the numbers on the screen. Call us and be a blessing to someone by sharing your life stories, your testimonies. I hope you have been blessed. Keep hope alive. Don't be discouraged. Forge ahead. Press on towards the mark. And the Lord will turn your story and your situation around. That will be all for this week. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.